Welcome to part 8 in my InShot video series. Do you want to add filters like this or like this to your videos? I can show you how. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. You can add filters, effects, and adjust videos or photos using the InShot video editor. I've loaded the clip from the introduction to part five. To add a filter, tap on the filters icon at the bottom of the screen. Select Filter. If you tap on the shopping bag in the bottom left hand corner, you'll be taken to the filters that you have to purchase. For this tutorial, I'm going to use one of the free ones. Any filter that you have to purchase will have a colored bar underneath it. To choose a filter, tap the filter that you want to choose. Watch the screen as I scroll through the different filter options. To adjust the strength of a filter, long press on that filter, use the slider that appears, tap the check mark when you're done. Once you've selected a filter, tap the check mark to make your selection, then tap the share icon and tap save. Processing will begin. As usual, do not lock the screen or switch between apps while this is happening. If you do, the video will not save properly. When processing is complete, you can find the completed video clip in your video library. Let's add an effect. Tap the filters icon again and make sure effect is selected. Watch the screen as I scroll through the different effects. Tap the shopping bag in the left hand corner to be taken to the effects you can purchase. I'm going to use a free effect. To make a selection, simply tap the effect that you want. To adjust the strength or value of an effect, long press on the effect and use the slider provided. Here is the wave effect. This effect looks cool. Long press on the effect. If you move the slider all the way to the left, it will turn completely white. All the way to the right, will turn it completely black. Or somewhere in between. Tap the check mark. If you tap on an effect that has a colored bar underneath it, you will need to purchase it. Let's choose this one. You can purchase it individually or use it if you upgrade to the pro version of the app. Tap the check mark to make your selection. To save this video, tap the share icon and tap save. Processing will begin. As usual, do not lock your screen or switch between apps while this is happening. Let's have a look at the saved clip. Do you want to know how to adjust the canvas? Using the InShot video editor, I can show you how. To adjust a video, 
select the filters icon again and make sure adjust is selected. Watch the screen as I scroll through the different options you can adjust. Use the sliders provided to adjust each option. If you'd like to adjust the tint, select it and move the slider to the left or right as desired. Move the slider back to the center to completely remove the tint. Next, tap saturation and adjust the slider to the left or the right as desired. To completely remove the saturation, move the slider back to the center. Tap the check mark when you're done. Tap the share icon and then tap save. As usual, processing will begin. Don't lock the screen or switch between apps while this is happening. If you do, the video may not save properly. When processing is complete, you will find the video in your video's library. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Coming up next, I'll show you how to add music to a video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.